Crowns break the searing morning atmosphere in Omaral Island of Sempurna Sabah. The gong sounds indicate that there has been a death in the village. Omaral Island is situated off the town of Sempurna in the east coast of Sabah. The island is inhabited by various ethnic groups, especially the Bajaus and the Palaus. Most of the population makes their living off of fishing and conducting at a village level. Adin is one of the few villages of Omaral Island. As the closest relative, Adin has been appointed to oversee the funeral according to the rituals of the Bajau Kubang people who emphasize on family values. One of the responsibilities is to place an order for a gravestone, otherwise known as a sunduk from Haji Sanungan. Haji Sanungan is a cover of the Lepa Lepa boots. He is also the most renowned gravestone or sunduk maker in Omaral Island. Pertama-tama sekali ini hatu untuk meginang sunduk. Jadi he perlu ini hatu dah hui sebab sunduk ketika bila ini wujudkan ia he untuk melibatkan kepada supaya sampai kepada tujuh hari. Anu kebiasaanku mungkin berta sepat pasal aku bicara ni sibuk meginang lain-lain lah. Iyalah. Saku bang upama kam pihak pawaris memerlukan ngamu kerjasama sinulayan lah mungkin walaupun bici tu keadaanku sinulayan aku tu tabut tabut tabut. Nah jadi maksudku nak kaji ngamu tele harapanku murah-murah antahinam. And so, Adin will relate the background of his deceased relative to Haji Sanungan. This would include talking about the deceased's occupation and the characteristic when he was still alive. This is to aid Haji Sanungan in his process of creating a special carving on the sundu. This particular type of carving is what makes the sundu unique to Omaral Island compared to carvings from other parts of Sabah. Pengurus itu untuk kaum suku bajau banganu kematian anggai kasanang. Sebenarnya ahek ayah ni hinang, hena. Antara lain setelah ani amatai untuk ani pertama ni selesaikan ni ani anda pertama-tama sekali imam suri senantiasa ani amehle. Kedua selepas ini untuk acara-acara peginang ia perlu ni hatu. Hey, setelah hey sab ni pikirkan lagi heta, wah ini ni atah tu kita he memikirkan betinga budget. Untuk dengan laut, dua dengan laut, telung dengan laut sampai mata pus bahagi, pitu. Jadi hei semua, hinangnya hei, hinang kerja pengurus. Jadi bang pengurus betul-betul untuk komitmen alangkau supaya hinang naik. Tanda alanu, tanda ahlak, bermanfaat, sanggup untuk ia kandi, amili peralatan-peralatan ni. Untuk masampurna air kurang na, ayam balanya kurang na. At 65 years old, Haji Sanungan's age makes him an experienced traveller around the routes to Bumbum Island and other islands around it. He is looking for wood to make the custom-ordered sunduks. Each time he runs out of wood, Haji Sanungan will travel to nearby islands to look for suitable material for the sunduk. The suitable trees and wood uses include belian wood. Kami gunakan masa dulu-dulu ialah kayu belian. Jadi belian sekarang bukan juga tidak ada, tapi susah di diambil pasal apa? Pertama sekali kurang sudah keduanya. 
semua hutan rimba itu digunakan oleh pakar bumbak. Kayu itu bisa kata kalau dibuat tunduk lelaki, walaupun bagaimana bulatnya itu tidak anula, ada wah, jadi dikurangkan sampai jadi kecil lah. Maka disitulah mau cari kayu empat empat tahun lah. Yang paling kecil tiga tahun dia punya bulatan. Dan juga kalau perempuan bila dibelah kalau tiga tahun tidak cukup liparnya. Marden is a resident of Omaral Island who has long migrated to Kota Kinabalu for work. He must now return to Omaral Island after learning about the news of his cousin's passing. He hopes to reach Omaral Island before the funeral processions end. Meanwhile, the neighborhood has gathered to help with the funeral procession. However, all the relatives of the deceased have to be present before the deceased can be buried. There is discussion on whether or not they should wait for Madin's arrival. Um, hinang itu hinang tanah pelakas, kan? Sebab sekarang pun mengkita betilu angagan. Jadi masalah na keluarga numaheka itu kan angagan kita. Jadi perlu hinang ta untuk supaya ayah ni masalah 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 sega ikan boleh tahu. Pendapat ku to untuk dalam hukum perlu nihinang untuk dikabumikan. Tapi kerana ada te perlu badan saga usba waris untuk supaya niagaran dah kayu anak contoh nabi Cimardin kan. Jadi alangkah baik nabi tehle untuk niagaran. Eke supaya Perpaduan ni lebih erat. Saya rasa yuk melayu kecil hati, yuk bajau ambal mendera. Jadi semua na alangkah baik na. Seolah bagaimanapun, akhirnya noh eh keputusan untuk suku kaum bajau eh kadang-kadang ame na untuk ma keputusan suara ramai. It is obvious that all of the elders have opted for the procession to go on as planned. Kebelum di kebumikan eh. Supaya kita sediakan payung. Jadi payung itu saya rasa terlibat mari segi ni tunjukkan hek Prabu kipaya si mayat. Harga itu melalui adat karena ania. Jadi penilaiannya anu ina ani pabangi ya ilallah. Ia na supaya payung na ni libur libur ek kakana. Hei penilaian adat Lelah maka dendah. Bangi ayah rendah tak payah menginang payung batik helik. Payung biasa menyari. With the umbrella, the body is accompanied to the masjid for prayers. Then the body is brought to the burial site. As the overseer, Adin will continue to oversee the funeral until the end. According to the Bajau people's rituals, a plate has to be broken before the body goes into the ground. Then the azan is sung as flowers are scattered upon the grave. Haji Sanungan is a sunduk cover with a strong perseverance. Without concern of his increasing age, he works hard to shape and carve a gravestone according to the disease characteristics as Adin had described earlier when he placed the order for the sunduk. Di sekitar Sempun ini, ada orang kenal saya pandai membuat sunduk. Kalau misalnya ada orang mau minta tolong di sepat, dia pun hujan, saya boleh buat. Saya membuat lapau ataupun menggunakan payung. To start making a sundu, Haji Sanungan uses an axe to shape the belian wood into a round or cylinder shape. Belian wood is hard and requires Haji Sanungan to exert all his strength. Mardin has finally arrived to Sempurna after a six hours journey from Kota Kinabalu. 
Using one of the many passenger boats waiting at Besa Island in Skorna, Mardin has to travel to Central Jetty located at Bumbung Island. Riding a speedboat, traveling from Semporna to Bumbung Island only requires 7 minutes. After arriving at the Bumbung Island Central Jetty, Mardin has to ride a van for 30 minutes, crossing Bumbung Island to the Gusung Melanta Jetty. From the Gusung Melanta Jetty, Mardin will reach Omaral Island by boat taking about 10 to 15 minutes. Mardin arrives after the funeral procession is over. Although he did not make it in time, he is still glad and thankful that his family members have come to welcome him home. Adin promises Mardin to bring him to the cemetery tomorrow. Tahun 2004, start daripada situ memang saya terus ke Kota Kinabalu. Saya sambung belajar di sana. Bekerja di Kota Kinabalu lah. Kerap tak kerap juga. Setahun tu lima kali saya balik. Kalau paling sikit pun tiga kali lah saya balik. Dulu pulau dia ramai, beli-beli dia ramai. Dari umur 12 hingga ke 30 dia masih sini lagi. Tapi dia orang sudah keluar daripada pulau ni, terus mencari rezeki untuk anak bini, adik-adik semua ada bekerja di Kota Kinabalu. Sebab itu kampung ni nampak macam sunyi sikit. Day after day, Haji Sanungan goes on carving. Even as less and less people appreciate his work. Lingkungan kapul orang paling-paling dua orang. Pasal apa? Orang yang manam penik, siapa yang mau kayu, diambil sendiri. Jadi itulah aku katakan tadi, dalam sepuluh orang, yang dua orang tu mampu ataupun dia sanggup cari kayu sendiri. Yang lapan orang tu tidak sanggup. Kalau mengikut keadaan cuaca, siapa membuat kalau kau kena hujan ataupun kena kalau kena panas mata di tapak tapi apa boleh buat saya dia ini dia minta tolong supaya dicepatkan hari ketujuhnya Mardin understands and isn't affected that he couldn't see his cousin who was buried yesterday he has just visited his cousin's grave thoughts go through his mind that the art of gravestone making is different in his hometown compared to other places in Malaysia he becomes more curious about the uniqueness that exists within the art of sunduk making that is made up of different forms size and shapes itu kata anda tahan kalau lihat kalau lihat kalau lihat kalau kan Okay, Sunduk's foreman look more bloated and use a cylinder as its base shape. However, a woman's sunduk is wider and has a thinner base shape. Sunduk's foreman have different heights. The tallest sunduk can be found in the Bajau Cemetery in Omaral Island, measuring 5 feet 4 inches. The concept of a bajo grave is to show the closeness between family members that they cannot be separated. In a single grave boat, sunduks are put up closely with each other and some are even put up in front of each other. There can even be up to 14 sunduks arranged randomly in one grave float. Untuk keluarga Umar itu, uh, hubungan hal tak kali saja. Sehingga saya akan datang ke itu uh, untuk bersama-sama menghadiri uh, pengkubulan itu. 
uh, teka, sanggup. Walaupun katakan wahai masa menanjung, ha? walaupun wahai makota kena balu, kan? kecuali berkemungkinan Bang Mailan nah, bersanggup. Tapi Bang sekedar uh, Malaysia, sanggup teka untuk yang hadiri uh, Patai Sianu, ya? contohnya kan keluarga ini, ini uh, matai, sanggup ya teka untuk menghubungkan silaturahim perpaduan orang bajau. There is two days left for Haji Sanungan to finish the sunduk for Adin before it can be placed on the grill. Yang paling susah membuat sunduk ini ataupun nisan ini kayu bulian lah begini, bulian kan? Tapi yang susahnya ini pertama di segi meletakkan nama yang si mati itu. Pas itu baunya kasih halus. Dibeli-beli lagi cara mengukir ini mau dikasih cantik. Omaral Island is surrounded by clear waters. The ocean is really beautiful and is known for its sea products. Even though Mardin has already migrated, he still has the spirit of an Omaral Islander. Omaral Islands has a flat land structure. It is location that is far from the beach shore invites the abundance of sea products. The main economic activity is fishing. There are several cages built into the water to catch fish. This is part of the government's effort to help improve the economy of Omaral Island. Kalau saudara mara meninggal tu saya balik. Saya balik. Semua family apa ni? Tapi dah jauh-jauh yang ada di Sabah ni kan, dia baliklah. Memang selalu pun beliau saya bagi nasihat, bagi pendapat, bagi cadangan. Tapi bagus kalau tinggal di Pulau Madal ni kan. Tapi fikir uh, macam di sini sumber ekonomi dah kurang. Tapi itu saya terpaksa berhijrah ke cari rezeki lah di Kota Kinabalu dan jarang balik ke sini. Si Mardin untuk kalau boleh bang mencari kan peternak ia mai itu untuk mewarisi air bahinang kue pembangunan bangun bangun uh, benaya pujukku untuk supaya ia peternak mai itu kan tapi dalam pun pada hari aku tanda aku tanda aku akan respon nak si Mardi ni iya he ambal dosa biaya ataka ambal dosa biaya angaho kan jadi bermana penilaianku uh, insya Allah Nampak mungkin pabalik ke tempat kelahiran naik. Mardin has made the decision to stay in Kota Kinabalu. He will return to Omara Island in the month of Syakban to celebrate the Tahlil or Magarwa ceremony with his family members. Selepas ini bila sudah siap ini kan, pasal ini hari-hari kan enam orang itu. Jadi hari ini juga saya kasih sapu dengan pernis. Besoknya itu di tanam lagi di kuburan Himati ini. The feast on the seventh night is always held before the sunduk is put in. The Tahlil and Yasin wedding is participated by both close relatives and villagers. The prayers are done in a chorus. Kanduri untuk si patah itu, Ia ni hinang sampai malau pitu. Sangun pitu bila launa akan ni hinang. 
Itulah terakhir. Akad semalau itu. The Bajau Kubang people also hold a bangkai-bangkaian proceeding for each tahlil ceremony held. This bangkai-bangkaian proceeding enables the deceased to give peace to all matters that could not be resolved when he was alive. This bangkai-bangkaian proceeding is prepared with bedroom items and food. Food is served right after the tahlil begins and will be taken by family members and guests after the tahlil reading. Allah itu naik kan untuk kiai akan bahagi bahagi ma pihak kaum keluarga yang asekot yang mengkasih sayang. After the seventh day, Haji Sanungan has finally finished the sunduk requested by Pa Ade. Nah, jadi. Aku tu anga anu besok kuni nang makai kira bang anu na ni hatu na. Insya Allah, okey na. Jadi terkait itu salah saya na. Nah he na keadaan ni. Nah, okey lah. Tanda kuat itu na okey maksud kuna lalu nur na. Nah jadi ni nang naik kami. Alhamdulillah. Okey na. Maksud kuna. Nampak maksud kuna. Jadi piti anu we perjanjian kaitkan. Insya Allah. Nah ngau. Murah-murahan pagi kelas tanah murah-murahan kita. Insya Allah. Dunia dan akhirat. The sunduk will be put up on the seventh day to commemorate the last day of the tahlil that had gone for seven days in a row. Before the mark of a bajau death, bajau people use a wooden stump as a temporary gravestone. Ini kemudahan dunia, kebetulan kami itu. Kebetulan kami he hakain dah sampai ia alih. Untuk ni pembudaya tu. It is not just Mardin who live Omaral Island for Kota Kinabalu. The elderly and parents of those who migrate for work leave the island with their relative who move out to Bumbum Island or Sempurna. Omaral Island grows quieter. Haji Sanungan might just be the last sunduk cover in Omaral Island. The funeral arrangements of the Bajau people as overseen by Adin illustrates the family values that might decrease or disappear altogether as time goes by.